Somewhere deep in the Icelandic highlands lies the waterfall of death. Many photographers have tried to capture this beauty. None have survived. In August 2022, a brave red bearded native, equipped with only his lens and his camera, sought to be the first one to make it back home alive. I'm currently in my home country, Iceland, and after a short little hike, I managed to get what is, in my opinion, one of the most epic waterfalls Iceland has, and it's this one here. You see this? This is absolutely nuts. to pack lightly I picked only one lens to come here and that is what is arguably at least my most used lens and definitely one of my favorite lenses at the moment the Sigma 24 to 70 millimeter I use it for like all videos and photos nowadays and yeah in today's video I'll be using just that lens to try to photograph this little epic beauty that you're seeing right here in as many ways as possible you know it's a versatile lens so yeah, let's do it. It's always windy in Iceland, you know, no way getting around that. Anyways, I'm a big fan of using it. Now let's see if we can face the wind like this. So I'm a big fan of foregrounds and getting them a little bit blurry. So I'm gonna try to um, use this here, put the lens a little bit low, so this will get blurry and all nice, and then we have the waterfall just there. Bam! I think it would be a pretty, I think it would be a pretty cool shot. But let's see, we can try with a few different focal lengths, you know? survive, the red-bearded man had to drink from the river of death. Wow! Sun decided to show itself, giving us this beautiful rainbow here. Pretty, pretty cool. I, there are also like two other people here, so I managed to take some photos with the drones, with a little subject, you know, because I'm all alone here. Also, I did find that I had the 10 to 18 millimeter hidden in my backpack. I didn't know about that. It's just so small. So now I can hold this lens while talking just briefly about it. So as I said in the beginning, like the big reason why I like it so much is just because it's so versatile. It's on my camera almost all the time. It's Razor sharp, you have like all the focal lengths you really need if you don't go in for some special types of look, in my opinion, for most of the things that I'm uh, doing. Also, the Sigma versus the Sony 24 to 70, I can't see huge difference in the quality, and this is much deeper, so I just went with this, you know. But I'm a big Sony fanboy, you guys know that, so I was really like, should I buy the Sony just because it's Sony, you know? But my friend who's a professional filmmaker was like, dude, I have this one, I, I like it. Uh, incredibly much. I've tried both of them. Get this one. So that, that was that. Anyways, my friends, there's no need to make this any longer. We've been taking a hold of the photos, having a good time here. As always, thank you so much for all of you who like continue to give me this incredible support. Like it really means the world to me. And yeah, I mean this is just an epic place. If you're in Iceland, I recommend 
coming here if you can and yeah smack that like button for me consider subscribing because you know i create a bunch of bunch of bunch of videos and i really hope that you enjoyed this video i'm out peace